Come to order. Councilman Simaluka? Here. Councilman Garrick? Councilman Garrick's unable to be here this evening. Councilwoman Sanchez? Here. Councilwoman Mazur? Here. Council President Accomando? Here. Please rest. The flag remains standing in memory of seven firefighter Roy DeJulia, retired police detective Sergeant Glenn Verost, and retired police officer George Smoltz. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council members and two old legal newspapers in accordance with the provisions of the Ocean Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law, 1975. The public is hereby advised that any statements made during the meeting of the Township Council of the Township of Saddlebrook may not be privileged or protected, and that persons or entities who take issue with such comments or are offended by saying may have been passed or legal redress through the courts. Any member of the public who addresses the council speaks for themselves and not for the council. Mayor, you have uh, proclamations? Yes. I have two proclamations uh, that I would like to read. One is uh, the February's Heart Health Month, and the other is the recognition of Black History Month. So uh, let's start with the uh, Heart Health Month. Whereas February is designated as Heart Health Month, the nation unites beginning the first Friday by wearing red and with the common goal to eradicate heart disease. And it is important not to ignore early warning signs like chest pain, palpitation, shortness of breath, and sudden dizziness. Heart attack symptoms can be different for men and women. Everyone should consult with their primary physicians for life-saving information. To raise awareness, I encourage everyone to check their cholesterol, blood pressure, and make healthy food choices, as well as stay active and know your risk. Now, therefore, on this 15th day of February 2024, I do hereby proclaim February as Heart Health Month and encourage all residents to make the commitment to help fight cardiovascular disease. Proclamation in recognition of Black History Month, whereas Black History Month is an annual celebration which recognizes the significant contributions of African Americans throughout our nation's history through their contribution in arts, entertainment, law, politics, sciences, sports, and so much more. Black History Month affords special opportunity to become more knowledgeable about black heritage and to honor the many black leaders who have contributed to the progress of our nation. Such knowledge can strengthen the insight of all our citizens regarding the issues of human rights great strides that have been made in the crusade to eliminate the barriers of equality for minority groups and the continuing struggle against racial discrimination and poverty. Now, therefore, on this 15th day of February 2024, we urge our residents to join in making this a period of rededication to the principles of justice and equality for all people. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to open. Meeting to the public. Second. All in favor? Aye. Meeting is now open to the public. I don't wish to speak. Good evening, everyone. Tom Van Winkle, 128 Lincoln Avenue, Saddlebrook. Um, I'm here tonight to give you my usual marriage youth group update. We met this past Saturday in the, in the uh, multi purpose room in the, in the rec side of the municipal complex. Um, we installed our new secretary, Eleanor. So I I want to congratulate her on being named and voted secretary. We're going to be getting involved in the Easter celebration coming up in March. We're also going to have our next meeting on March the 16th, which is Saturday at 1030 in, in the complex in the multipurpose room um, to discuss and to, to prepare for Easter and also to prepare also us, you know, advertising or getting, getting the word out there, getting recruiting more members. 
to join our group. And we really have a great group of people. We have great officers who are committed to really um, being successful with our youth group and uh, rallying everybody to help out at all the events and volunteer and make our town a better place as always we do. Um, so anybody who's in grades 4 to 12 lives in Southbrook is welcome to join the Mayor's Youth Group at any time. And I do want to thank the Youth Group for all they do. And I believe that's it for now. Oh, we're going to also be involved in Earth Day. More information to follow on that in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Thomas. Anyone else was wishing to speak? Oh, you good? Motion to close. Motion to close. All, all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. I'm um, going to start out with um, the Bergen County Saddle River Park, Isle of Paley section, the um, all inclusive um, playground that they are proposing. Uh, I don't know if I think the council knows about it, but the residents, some may not know. Um, this is a Green Acres grant that the county is applying for. Um, they are planning on, or they are proposing moving the front entrance of the park where it is now, just to the left, which would be to the north, and have it go straight in rather than bend. Um, part of that area where the driveway was is going to be used um, for this, uh, this completely inclusive uh, playground. Uh, and it's going to start there and work its way down to the path that goes around the lake. Uh, it's uh, again altering the driveway, it's going to be moving move further north. Um, they're also moving this play. The playground now is at is all the way down by the bathroom, so it's at the end of the parking lot and uh, to the I guess it would be the east of the lake behind behind the, the bathrooms and it's right smack in the flood zone every time it floods that that area gets uh, pretty flooded and and uh, the, the playground has to be disinfected it can't be used so that this is some of the reasons why they're 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 doing this they want to move it up to that area which i mean it, it for all the years i've been around i mean i think maybe one time it came up a little bit higher i don't think it came up all the way to the street because it's the streets up a lot higher there uh, but uh, so that's the, the reasoning is they want they want to get it out of that flood area uh, where it generally is bad. But at any time there's, there's you know that, that river crest there's there's a problem back there because it's so close to the river where it is now. Uh, this the proposal you can go on the, the town website, um, also the town Facebook page, or the county uh, website, and they have. The whole proposal, uh, is they're talking about spending $3.7 million. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge playground. It's, uh, it, it, it looks very nice, I mean, from what I can see. Uh, this is step one, though. This is the first step. I mean, they, they haven't been approved for the, for the funds yet. Um, they think that they probably will because it's a, it's a good project. And the fact that it's uh, handicapped accessible, they believe that they're going to get the funding for it. But, this is just step one. They had, they did have a hearing. Uh, they've been all for this whole month. They're, uh, they're getting input. Um, they've asked residents on, on their website, um, the, the parks, the park section of the Bergen County website. Uh, you know, they're asking people to mail in or email uh, any kind of concerns. I know there were some residents in Saddlebrook that did. They saw what we posted on on Facebook, and they did go to the commissioner's meeting and they expressed some concerns. Some of the concerns that I, I've been hearing are uh, the park is too close to the street. Um, I happen to like that idea only because, well, not, there's a couple of reasons, but the, to me, I like the fact that it being closer to the street, it's more of a community park. I think our residents may use it more. Uh, also too, it, it's, it's got a, from a security standpoint, it's good because the police officers could drive by and shine the light. It's, it's right there, rather than being way inside the park. And uh, you know, using the playground doesn't get damaged, but there's, there's been a lot of damage to the bathrooms, uh, which are right next right next door there. And it's more difficult because it's not well lit. 
So I think from those two reasons it's good, but some of the residents feel, I think, that, uh, you know, a runaway car, to me, it's going to be protected. It's going to be bollards, there'll be buffers, trees, something there to protect it. Plus the fence, they think it should be a higher fence. It's going to be surrounded by a four-foot fence. I guess they think that maybe the kids can jump over the fence. But you know, most of the time they're going to be, these are young children, they're going to be, there's going to be parents there supervising them. So I, I don't know. Uh, but I, I don't, you know, that's, that's their concern. Then what, one of the things they did mention that it's going to, there's going to be more public use, so there's going to be more cars, they need additional parking. These are things that are, you know, I think that's, that those are valid, you know, valid concerns. But uh, they, you know, you do, they do have uh, time to at least say what they have to say and, 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 uh, and give their input. Uh, but it is only step one. So you know, once they, they approve, there's going to be more meetings, more hearings, and, and public comment. So. And they know about it now, so the people in that area. And we, and we will, when it gets closer, I, I think it's important for us to notify the residents in that general area. Um, the ones on Saddle, uh, on uh, Grand Court, and close to the entrance of Saddle River Road. Uh, I think it's important that we let them know that uh, this is happening and that they, they can go to the, they go to the Bergen County Commissioner's meeting or, or email or send letters you know, to them. Uh, also, uh, we were approved that. This was, we did verbally, we received a uh, commitment for $750,000 grant funding from the state. Uh, that verbal, but now we got written notice that we did, we had to file, our grant writer had to file paperwork, and an application, and we, we did receive notice from the governor's office that we were approved to that. And, uh, there's like three parks, Mayhill Street Park, Kern Street Park, Fifth Street Park, and also uh, Senior Center Generator. And the biggest allotment of money is for Splash Park, which is a location to be determined at a later date. Um, and we have some ideas, we're gonna discuss that at our work session. Uh, I wanna remind residents of the new Notify Me, uh, to remind them that it's a new uh, township notification system. You can register on the township website, SaddlebrookNJ.us. Uh, there's a, a registration form on there. It's, it's simple to do. It's a lot like Mixel, but uh, as far as how to sign up. But uh, I urge. We already have about 750, and we just we just started it. So hopefully we'll get more uh, as we go along. I also want to extend my best wishes and prayers for Father Bruce Janika of St. Philip's, uh, the pastor there. Uh, he last uh, at the end of. Uh, January, he had back surgery. Uh, he's rehabbing now at Kessler Institute. So uh, he was, our prayers go out to him and uh, his family and uh, the whole parish. But uh, he's doing much better from what I understand. Uh, also, I want to thank our DPW and police department. The DPW did a fabulous job climbing our streets on uh, Tuesday with the storm. Uh, also, the police department. I guess I'm happy to say I'm not happy if you got a ticket, but if you got a ticket, you probably deserved it. But they wrote 222 tickets, so um, they were out there, and uh, you gotta, I, can't, I can't say enough. When it snows, you got to move the cars off the street, and you know if, if you live somewhere and, and you're and you're a tenant, the landlord doesn't let you park. You know you have to you have to find some other place. There's, there's many other places if you uh, look around that you can park. I'm sure, and or get permission from somebody else to park. It doesn't happen that frequently, um, but it, it's important that you move your vehicles. Um, municipal offices are closed Monday, February 19th for President's Day. Uh, Section 1, the north part of the town, uh, yard waste is going to be picked up on Friday. It's usually picked up there on Monday, but Friday the 23rd. We've got some events coming up. Next month is Women in History Month, and women will be recognized in different categories, such as business leader, community service, government service, outstanding citizen, et cetera. Uh, that, that'll be at next month's uh, regular meeting. Uh, Chicken Bingo is Saturday, March 10th from 11 to 3 at the Senior Center. See, uh, see or call, call Joe Lecce, our Senior Director. 
Sign up for uh, volunteer ambulance corps or fish and chips uh, is Friday, March 29th, from 5 to 9, here at the Corps building. For tickets, you have to email. Uh, it's secretary at saddlebrookvac.com. That's secretary at saddlebrookvac.com. Or call Tracy at 201-790-3750. Uh, our spring celebration is Saturday, March 30th from 12 to 2, right here at the Rec Center. There's an egg garden, games for kids, paint, face painter, DJ, etc. That's always a fun time. Uh, also, too, the town will be printing 300 copies of Saddlebrook Portrait of Our Past, written by Jack Wasike. We received, uh, uh, Pete Medico, our clerk, received uh, about 200. Right. He's already got two, a 200 requests. Uh, it, it, it started on Facebook. There's a, there's a page called, uh, uh, there's actually two pages, Memories Growing Up in Saddlebrook, and the other one is uh, uh, Saddlebrook High School Alumni Association. There's those, those two pages that, uh, it's a, lot of, a lot of people from Saddlebrook expressed interest and they wanted the book, and we ran out of copies. So um, we will be having them printed and, uh, and selling them. Pete, uh, I don't know if you know how much it's going to be, but... Not yet, but they can email me, pigloramico yeah. at saddlebrookmj.gov, and we'll let you know when the books are available. And also, too, we'll uh, you know, make sure that we put it on social media and, and blast it out there so everybody knows. Uh, lastly, my sincere condolences to the Julia family, the Veros and Schmalls families. Um, it, it, we gave a moment of silence for the three of them, and also the flags were at half staff. Um, also, their friends and brother officers and uh, brother and sister police officers and firefighters. I personally worked uh, with the two police officers, Burroughs and Schmalls, on uh, the South Island Police Department, and both were excellent men. Uh, they were dedicated public servants, and they were devoted to the, the South Island community. So they'll be sorely missed. And, uh, God bless him. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I would just like to accept my prayers and sympathies also to the uh, to, to Julia, Burroughs, and Schmoll's families. Um, my heartfelt prayers to you guys, to everyone. And a shout out to our DPW and uh, our police department. Yes, they did an amazing job. And uh, thank you, thank you for your service. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, I would also like to um, extend my condolences to uh, Schmalls, to Julia and the Rose family. Um, I'm very sorry for their loss. Um, and again, like the mayor and Flo said, you know, the DPW did a wonderful job. Um, and I just want to make a correction really quick on the fish and chips. <coughs> the fish and chips is from 4.30 to 7 p.m. on March 29th. I think you said 5 to 9, but it's, it's 4.30 to 7. Okay. 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 Um, and um, that's all. Councilor yes, Saluka. Thank you. Uh, I just had a question for the mayor. I'm trying to figure out the, the new driveway, I guess, into the park. Is, is that going to affect the current parking? Is it that far north, or is it in between the current parking and like where people are parking now? Well, I'm sorry, in between the current entrance and where the people park now. I think it, it's uh, it's just a little, a little left of about I'm trying not to go with, with uh, distance, but now if you, when you go in, you kind of go in straight and then you turn to the left, so it's going to be that straight ahead. Straight, with, you know, so I don't know, maybe 30 feet. Oh, okay, so it's not going to affect yeah, the current, not, not, yeah, it won't affect the current park. Yeah, there is there is some trees there, probably going to have to take down. And that's another complaint that we yeah, just, just I, I think you mentioned it after I, I broke some notes about uh, so it's just going to be one big playground area. It's not the, the existing playground area is going to be. Gone, yeah, they're going to take, they're gonna, something else. Yeah, they're gonna take that down. I, I think that they're going to reuse it somewhere. Okay. Because it's, it's not, I mean, the, the playground, it's, the equipment's still pretty good. Yeah. It looks good. Okay. Um, 
uh, again, like everyone, we, we lost uh, a few good people uh, in this month, and also, you know, obviously, the Schmaltz family, the Julie family, and uh, the Rose family, who uh, generally passed his son is his county officer with, uh, he's a sergeant? Yes. A sergeant with, with our police force now, so condolences. Also, uh, uh, the, the father of uh, Marilyn Nacello, who was a former president of our Board of Education, passed away uh, a few years after his wife did. So condolences to the Nacello Sinisi family. Uh, as the mayor said, I totally agree with him in terms of I'm happy but not happy uh, about the tickets. I'm happy that um, you know people were cited uh, for doing something they should have done. I'm not happy that people continue to do that. So 200 tickets, probably they could have issued 400 if, uh, you know, if they got everybody. Uh, and it's just amazing that year after year, um, people continue to do the same thing. You know you can't do it, but you continue to do it. Sometimes it's an emergency situation, you're out of town, I understand that, but uh, I just drove to, from my house to Midland Avenue and there are, there are three or four cars that are just totally plowed in. You know? Why didn't you just move it? I don't understand. And some of them, five days later, were still plowed in. So I don't know, maybe they were just gone. I, I have no idea. But if that's the case, uh, and you know of an impending snowstorm, do something about it. Um, in terms of the, uh, the resolution, uh, especially uh, Heart Health Month, uh, I say this every year. I've been up here for 15 years. Uh, my dad died when he was 39 years old. What I thought was a heart attack later on, I found out it was heart disease. Um, unfortunately, I was telling my doctors that it was just a sudden heart attack, nothing to worry about, and then finally uh, found out that it was a long-term heart disease, uh, and that killed him at the age of 39. 30%, uh, we just did some research here while we're sitting up here, 30% of all deaths in America are due to heart disease, and uh, one in five women uh, die from heart disease. It's often thought it's a man disease, but uh, it's one of one in five women. That's, that's uh, um, just a frightening statistic. So please uh, do all you can to take care of yourself. That's all I have. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I too would like to thank the DPW for the quick response they had to uh, cleaning up that snow. It, was, uh, it came down pretty quick. Um, I would also like to wish condolences to the to Julie family, Rose family, and Schmaltz family, and uh, thank you for your service to the township. Uh, will definitely not be forgotten. Uh, as far as the spring celebration that Mayor talked about, as uh, I believe it was March 30th, that's a it's a great event every year, and uh, it just gets better and better. So if you do have the time, or you you don't have the time, try and make time because it's it's great for kids, it's great for the family, and. Uh, Try and get out, meet some of your neighbors. Hopefully, that by that time the weather will break and uh, it'll be another good time. And please support you know the uh, local ambulance corps with the fish and chips on the 29th. And, um, I think that's it for now. Thank you. Hmm. <coughs> ordinances. No, we have no ordinances this evening, so we'll go right to the agenda. All, I, all items listed with an asterisk are considered routine and non-controversial by the Township Council and will be approved by one motion. There will be no separate discussion on these items unless a council member or member so requests it, in which case the item or items will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. The one motion signifies adoption of all resolutions, receiving final letters, correspondence reports, and approval of minutes and applications. Not part of the consent agenda would be the October 19th uh, council meeting minutes and resolution number seven. October 19, 2023, Council meeting. Roll call. Councilman Samaluka. Abstain. Oh, I'm sorry. Abstain. Go ahead. Sorry. 
Councilwoman Sanchez? Yes. Councilwoman Mazur? Same. And Council President Agamonto? Yes. And we have resolution number seven, uh, which uh, Councilman Simuluka will be reclusing himself. Do you the days? Resolution number seven, uh, Councilman Simuluk has left the meeting. It's approving payment of the bill for the Choi Law Group. Motion. Second. Second. No call. Councilman Sanchez? Yes. Councilman Mazur? Yes. Council President Commando? Yes.
and Joe, Joe was ahead of his time when he brought that up. I know everybody yeah. laughed at him. You know, but really, yeah. I remember that. People laughed at him. That was probably 20 years ago. We've come a long way in 20 years. Yeah. The majority of towns do have them. And now Bergen, about half the towns have them. Garfield does. I know they, they, have, they also have the license plate readers. These cameras are so sophisticated. They can zoom in on a quarter that's on, a, that's on a curb. They're, they're that good. So, and then, you know, they read the license plate and they'll come up, you know, the, bird, the car stolen or wanted for something. So it's, uh, it's here and it's something that uh, we really are going to have to think about. So. Through the chair, just had one comment. Um, a lot of these thefts um, could be avoided. Please do not leave your key fob in your car. It might make it easier for you but it also makes it easier for a thief. Um, for the same reason, make sure it sounds silly, but please lock your doors. Because most of us have, those of us who have garages, have a garage door opener. And most of those garage door openers are easily accessible if your door is open. So, you know, maybe your car gets stolen. It is what it is. But they press that button, now they're in your house. And that's a lot scarier than having a, a four wheels taken from your driveway. So just be careful. Now, I got to piggyback off that because what they're doing is they use readers. Your keys could be in your kitchen, 20 feet from the front of your house, and they have these readers outside your house. They get the frequency, and they're getting the frequency not just for one car, but for every car in your driveway or your neighbor's driveway. And all they're doing is pressing the button, and they're starting. So they do sell these, I don't know if it's a satchel or boxes that you can put your keys in. It blocks the frequency. But that's what they're doing. They're, they're going around and they're using this reader, getting the frequency to your car, pressing a button that they have. Your car could be in the garage. It's going to start. And they're, they're, they're going to get that car regardless. The problem is these individuals get caught. I've seen it now being um, in the courts. They get caught, they see the judge, they get released with no bail, PTI. No slap on the wrist, no nothing, no fines. Unless they do it again and get caught, then they go to jail. But if your car gets stolen, listen, let them take your car. If your kid's in there, then absolutely, you know, do what you have to do. But if your car gets stolen, let them take it. It's just a car. Don't get yourself injured for, uh, for an object. But just uh, be mindful, and if, if, you, if you need to, you go on uh, Google, uh, Amazon, I believe, sells those boxes you can put your keys in to block the frequency from being read. That's it. Thank you. Open a meeting to the public on agenda items.